Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Gmail confidential mode when sending emails to other people. And what that will do is it will allow you to set an expiration date on the email and also assign a passcode to it that they will have to obtain via text message. And then you could also do things like prevent them from printing it or forwarding it or downloading it and that kind of thing. So it works differently depending on if you're sending it to another Gmail account or if you're sending it to an external account. So I'm going to show you both ways here. So the sender is going to be Todd here. And he's going to send to another Gmail user, Cindy, for the Gmail example. And then we'll send, send it to an, to an external email address for the other example. And I'll show you how that works. So to begin, just go to Compose like you normally would. And just, you know, type in your normal message. And then you want to click on Toggle Confidential Mode. And then you can set your expiration date anywhere from a day to five years. The default is one week. And then if you want them to have to get a text message with a code to uh, enter into open this email, you could do that. So you click on Save. And then you can see you have this section added here telling you it's using confidential mode. Then you can edit it if you need to make changes, or you can click the X to get rid of that and send it as a regular email. So click on Send. And then it wants the phone number for Cindy here, so she will be able to get the text message. So I'll enter that in, then I'll just click on send. Okay, so that's been sent. And if you go to your sent messages, you can see it's there, and you could actually remove access right from the uh, sent email if you want to do that before she even gets a chance to open it, or in case she opens it so she can't open it again. Okay, so we'll go to Cindy here. And so we have our new don't share this email, so we'll open that. And then it's going to need to send the passcode to the phone, so we'll do that now. And then we'll get the text message. And we'll put in the code from that. OK, submit. And now you can see, we see the message now. And it says, content expires January 10th, 2022. And we have no forward button. We can't download it. If you click on print, uh, depending on what browser you're using, sometimes it'll pop up a message saying, you know, pop-up was blocked. Other times it'll do something different. So let's see what happens here. See, this just prints the the main subject without the actual message there, so it's not going to print the message. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so that's sending it to a Gmail user. So now let's do another one, sending it to an outside address. So the same process. Okay, and then we'll do the same process here. We'll do the passcode and then send it. Put in the phone number again. Click on send. Okay, so now we'll go to the other outside account and see what we got. Okay, so we got our new message here. So let's open that up. Okay, so click on view the email. And now here's the catch here. You have to... Uh, use a Google account tied to this outside email address. So you don't have to have a Gmail email address to have a Google account, but you could use your you know, your Outlook or your Hotmail account uh, email address to make a Google account, if that makes sense. So if you don't have a Google account tied to this external email address, you're not going to be able to do it. And if you do, you just click on sign in with Google. And then you have to put in your information here. Or put it in correctly, I should say. Okay, so now we're going to send the, send the passcode here, just like we did with the Google account. Okay, so there's our secret message here. So you can kind of see it just kind of gives you a generic web page here with a message with no tools, you know, print options or forward or reply. So the catch is, obviously, you could take a screenshot of this and print it out or forward it on to somebody so it's not totally foolproof. 
but you could see how, you know, for some people who might not know how to do that, it'll kind of keep them from sending it on. So it's kind of better than nothing, but it works better when you're sending it from Gmail to Gmail. So once again, all you got to do is compose, toggle the uh, confidential mode, pick your expiration date, decide if you can use a passcode or not, and then send it off. Put in the phone number for you using the passcode, and then they'll have to, you know, get the uh, text message on their end, and then they should be reading your email. All right, hopefully that makes sense, and thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.